Hi everyone, I'm Ekdysis, and this is White Day. White Day is a Korean horror game uh, that's pretty unique in the way it goes. It's first person, a uh, lot of cool movement, it moves nicely, which we'll see later. And this is actually a remaster from the 2001 game, this May in 2017. Uh, having said, it looks graphically updated. Uh, there's some DLC things for incentives, in case you're wondering for like marathon stuff. For example, you have different costumes you can put on. Um, we'll be using a few of them. I only own so many, so we have Santa, Retro, uh, Police, Lifeguard, Nightmare on Elm Street, and just kind of basic because I didn't want to buy one for this guy. Anyway, that being said, we'll begin the run, and before we begin, we have to select hard mode. That'll be selected, I'll uh, explain more later on uh, while we're running the game as to why we're doing hard mode, but for now, just understand that this is going to be a bit different from your normal speedrun. Anyway, 3, 2, 1, let's go. So the white day... Hard mode is going to be necessary, and it does make the run harder, yes, but it allows us to break the game in ways that are a little bit different. So, with the basic movement in the beginning, you can run, you can click. It's a first-person horror game, and there's very little in terms of outside mechanics. Uh, I'm going to be grabbing health for later, and I'm going to be grabbing the map. By doing that, I'm activating triggers that allow me to kind of progress the game. If you don't grab the map, you can't physically open this door, and you will never get introduced to the characters. Hmm. We have Jaehyun and Sangha. These are our characters, and we get dialogue options. The dialogue options are going to be things that allow me to get different endings. For a lot of people who don't know this game, White Day is a combination of horror game and dating sim, which is one of the weirdest co like combinations you have to think of. You'll be hit with a lot of options throughout the game, and we're selecting the fastest and safest ones throughout the game. So for this one, uh, with our character Sung I here, who's in the Santa costume, we're going to help her immediately. Uh, if you keep saying no to her, it just prolongs it. You could say no and be mean to her, but it takes a long period of time for the same exact result. Anyway, her mission is to open up the grate and climb through the uh, the vents, kind of like Die Hard, so we need a ladder and some pliers. By having this, we can now do it, and you know she's making us do it, because we are, uh, we're aptly dressed for it, since we're in a lifeguard's outfit. And yes, to be honest, we got the costumes. The costumes, I think, would make good DLC, uh, not DLC, uh, good, um, marathon incentives. You can add in different ones for fan service, for, um, just kind of neat references. There's some Blaze Boo costumes, there's the Santa one, obviously, for the holiday theme. It really depends. Now, I bet you're wondering, oh, why is this horror game different from other ones? What's the unique thing about this horror game that makes it scary? Good question. There's two things in particular. One, you have ghosts. Two, you have the main menacing enemy, the janitor, who we're getting introduced to right now. Now, the janitor is an enemy in the game, will be the major enemy, by the way, and his entire ordeal is he doesn't like children being here after midnight, so he's going to beat all the children he sees with a bat. You know, standard janitor things, that's how janitors work, right? You just beat children with bats after they're caught at uh, school after hours. He's also possessed by the school or something, because there's ghosts involved. Speaking of the story, um, you are playing as Heeman, and your high school crush dropped her diary, and you want to give her the, your White Day gift, too. For those of you who don't know what White Day is, it's essentially Valentine's Day, but it's that the guys give gifts for girls. It's a thing in Korea. And it's a pretty neat celebration. Anyway, now that we're out of the vents, we had to pull those two valves as you saw, we now get a first little puzzle. What's going to happen is there's going to be an emergency activation and I need to cancel it by going to an electrical panel. The answer is middle once, left twice, and right once. So by doing that, we're all good. And we get these items. Oh, wrong pause. Another thing with that panel, and we'll see notice it later on in the game as well, I'm selecting things alternating because it, while one is going, I can select others, which works for me. So ideally, what I'm going to want to be doing is activating the middle one, and then the left one, and then the right one, and then the left one again, because if they have more than one, I have to be careful of that. Anyway, now the janitor will officially be chasing us, however, we'll get a little cutscene that's just going to be a very important one, actually. So this cutscene is important because you get introduced to Ji Hyung. Uh, she's important because she'll prevent the janitor from spawning in Chapter 2 if you select the right options. You want to make her feel comfortable with you so she likes you so she won't hate you later on. If she finds out you're trying to get after Sunga, she won't like you. So her options always be the fastest. 
At this point, the janitor spawning will be a bit RNG, and he will pursue us and kill us. Since this is hard mode, I can take about maybe three hits before dying from full health. Uh, the janitor spawned in a different spot right there because I activated the talisman. The talismans are special keys, and we're going to be grabbing a uh, tranquilizer to help us out for later. That'll let me run faster. Uh, but what I have to do right now is get a special code for a key that will allow me to get into the 2-8 homeroom. There we go. It's really a lot of activations to get where we're going, but the current goal is to find the note so I can find some wrenches, so I can find a code, so I can get a key. Very straightforward stuff. But RNG can plague us here depending on how the janitor wants to behave. The janitor's are, um, AI can spawn in a few different places, and it really depends on where he's going to be. You can see his light on the first floor right there, but you have to be a bit careful. And normally you can take about, I think, maybe 8 hits or so, depending on your difficulty. It depends if you're playing easy, medium... The game is really hard on medium and higher, so it's recommended if you're doing this for the first time, play it on easy. It'll be a lot easier and you'll enjoy the game more. A lot of people who reviewed this game weren't fans of it because of the uh, difficulties, so... Oh, there's Janner. Okay, we're going to play this safe. That's okay. So this is bad RNG. Uh, the Janner's going to be chasing me. I can't juke my narrow hallways, so what I'm going to do instead is wait here and get the long juke around. I avoid a hit and I can ignore him entirely. Normally the janitor can be fooled and you can get away with a lot more on lower difficulties, but remember we're playing on hard, so the janitor will be hitting like a truck. As well, I need to be getting the wrenches in the back. The wrenches are important because they'll have a code on them that allows me to get to the key. Uh, the code right now is going to be 4125. It's random, I'll be using the tranquilizer, and that will give me full stamina back. So 4125 is the code. Janitor's right there. We don't do hell. We only do hard because it gives us a certain CB1. Anyway. You want to make sure you have enough distance away from him and then you're good to go. He's fast, but we can normally outrun him if you keep running. Closing the doors is also important because it's going to create a gap because he must open the doors. Meaning I built a bit of speed on him. The run also, I forgot to split, but that's okay. The run is going to be a lot of being careful in these areas, because the janitor can absolutely mess me up. It's very easy to get caught behind. As well, I'm going to be grabbing soy milk for later. The soy milks are health kits, essentially. Alright, the answer is 4125. There's no order, you just need to put all the numbers in. And with that, we now have the key, and we can leave. The time loss I have suffered is mostly RNG. It's okay, we can get more time later on as we're running the game. Luckily, now that we're up here, the janitor is not going to be able to actually catch me. And I won't need to worry about all too much. Uh, by the time I get to the back, the janitor will have left me alone and it'll be good to go. Because the janitor is going to despawn in a moment here. The janitor will only be chasing you if there's no story of events happening. Meaning, if you have something like Jihan, if you have Sunga, if you have any of the girls with you, the janitor cannot spawn. They won't attack the girls. The girls are safe from the janitor, you are not. As well, there's a little scare here that can happen. There's a spooky ghost. We're going to ignore the spooky ghost. And then we're good to go. And right now we're going to be getting the next events. So this game has timed panic events that you need to solve before the timer runs out if you want to beat the game. Uh, the timer runs out, the thing you're running against will be considered done and then you're dead. Uh, in this case, we're going to be saving Sunga from some plant demons. So here's Sunga and all of her 2001 beauty. This is your high school crush, by the way. You're going after the the PS2 graphic girl, because that's what you want, right? That's what we all want, chat. PS2 graphics. And this one we get the master key. So Young has given us the master key, and now we can continue going. You can see the timer on the top left, uh, that will count down eight minutes, and what we have to do is a lot of things. You're also Gray Fox, I can't do it long, but nice. Nice. At this point of the game, we have to gather a few things. One, for the plant killing, we're going to be getting into a fight, so we need insecticide. That is flammable and allows to be killed. Next, we're going to be getting a puzzle answer, which is going to be the safe. The answer will be 9524. However, it's mixed, so it's going to be uh, 2594. So 2594. And I'll explain that in a moment. So 2594. If you're wondering how that worked, so we got the solvent, but the safe answer is decided in the note right there. 
There is a locker full of num years and medals, and the year corresponds to the number of medals. So 9524 is the order from 83 to 96. Since I know the, or the number of medals on each year, I just have to look at the years, and I'll know the numerical values that go with them. So that being said, I knew the answer would be that because of the way I looked at it. Also, thank you for the nicest chat. It's going to be a bit hard to redeem that one right now because of Marathon Commentary, which I should have specified earlier, but I hope you're having a great day, Great Fox. Right now that we have the chemical solvents, we have to kill five plants. These plants, now that we're dead, I can um, free So Young from the plant demon. However, there will also be a little panic event, which is why we had to grab the insecticide. The plant locations are always the same, and the way you're supposed to find them casually is that you looked around and noticed there were plants all around. This event happens because uh, Ji Hyun uh, put some kind of fertilizer in the plants that made them monstrous, and they look like the little shop of horrors. Uh, what, what's the name again? I, I don't remember. Her name is something too. I can never remember the plant's name. I know it's Feed Me Seymour. Who remembers the plant name from Little Rock? Uh, little, little Shop? Aubrey. Aubrey too. Thank you. Thank you, Marinari. And we are feeding all the Aubrey. Aubrey's 1 through 5. Or I guess I should say 3 through 8? I think that's 5. It's either Aubrey or Audrey. Audrey too? Either way. Uh, most of this is just kind of chilling. You uh, go to each of the locations. Notice the janitor isn't chasing after us. The janitor won't be going after you during any timed events during this game. So if a time event's happening, the janitor won't kill you, which actually makes it pretty safe. People think that hard mode makes the game really difficult, but realistically, it's easier than when I play the game casually. I think knowledge of the game makes it a lot easier than actual difficulty, because I died a lot more in normal than I have speedrunning this game. Um, the main reason why is because the janitor is easily predictable on hard mode, you just have to be careful of them. I mean, now that all five of the plants are dead, we can pour the solvents into the plants. However, there is a panic event. It's going to be right, left, or left, right. The order matters on the first one. It's an instant death if you did not grab the insecticide. You need the insecticide, a source of fire, and then you also need to be in the room. And succeed in the panic events. Now watch uh, He-Man just brutalize this plant. I think it's awesome, dude. Look at this. You ever just create a living blowtorch out of that? I mean, that's amazing. I give He-Man a lot of props. Anyway, now that we're here, we can go back up and find So Young. 108 has nothing of value for us, or we'll be leaving the room almost immediately. We just had to get in that room so we can kill the plant, which now gets rid of all the stuff in the game. At this point, the janitor is around, but I've never encountered him going to room 208. In 208, you now get the wood token. That is the key out of here. And our decisions here actually matter. You want to be very careful not to get any of So Young's endings. You're going to be nice to Sangha. You're going to be nice to Ji Hyun. Uh, there are three endings you can get in this game. Yes, she is. And all the dialogue I'm getting is corresponding to matching with Sangha and Ji Hyun. There's the dialogue. Hmm. Remember what I. You reap what you. And then. There we go. What's with? And now he can leave. At this point, the janitor has respawned, but it's going to be very easy to avoid him. Uh, he'll normally spawn on the staircase that we originally went down, which is right behind us. Um, but if you just go to the end, um, end of the level staircase, you'll be perfectly fine, and he will not come after you. Uh, the janitor will follow you to building two, though. There are two janitors in this game, and we are going to be interacting with all of them. All, all two of them. Anyway, now that we have the wood token, we can place it in the slot, and we are done with the level. I go with plant ends, by the way, because my save was very good. That was a really good save. I'm happy that worked out that way. Alright, not bad. It's long, is the only problem, Marinari. We don't do so young because it's long. Anyway, building two is very specific. Building two is about baby. And he's baby. Bye, baby. So I open that door immediately because I'll need to get into that room later. It's going to be a very difficult motion to do for me, and I want to make sure I'm good to go in regards to that. Um, as well, we're going to be grabbing a few keys because that's going to open the doors on the higher room, uh, on the higher floors for me. And I want to make sure that we're good on those. The second key is not found on the table, but it's found in this man's jacket. It's a bit of an awkward grab, but that motion usually works for me. 
And now we're going to the different floors. We got a gold. Very nice. The main puzzle for this one is going to be a couple. First things first, I need to find a bunch of paintings. We grab that. And now, if you better know how to read a bit of Korean, if you don't, there's a guide for you. However, it's going to be, uh, looks like 4218. So 4218 is the code. It's always going to be some combination of those numbers. This one is 4218. That only works with the lighter, so you want to make sure you're looking at that. I got stuck on that for a really long time when I play this casually. And for this series of numbers, the order does matter, believe it or not. So, 4218. Order does matter there. Uh, and other ones, it's just kind of like a, a lock, meaning order does not matter as much. And then you also have a desk puzzle to get it open. Uh, the answer is just make all the trees face to the right. And then you open up the videotape. And then you cancel out, and then you have it. Well, I'll not be looking at security footage, and this next part's gonna be risky, and I'll be going by very quickly. Also, sorry, I hope you're having a great day. Alright, so this teaches you that there's a key nearby, and with that, you are now able to. I'm eating a hit, that's okay. We do have soy milk for this exact reason. This is why we have soy milk, Pat. This is why we have it. Close all the doors on him. That was a very fast key grab. And much safer than the alternative. I used to go on the chair. Uh, a little bit longer if you go on the chair. But now I'm only closing all the doors on the... I should have kept that door open, but that's okay. We got the key there, and it was a very quick motion of movement. I knew where it was. I needed a light source to grab the item, and then we had to avoid the janitor. I took a couple of hits there, which is fine. Uh, we get a tape now, which the janitor is going to respawn. And we'll have a dialogue with... Saga. With this as well, I need a I need a key in the back room. We're flirting with Sunga so we don't get anything with So Young. And we'd be on good terms with Sunga and Ji Hyun. There we go. We'll have one or two things happen right now. I'd be very careful though. Yep, here he is. Okay, that's fine. Oh, uh, pardon me. Okay, we're good. A little bit awkward there, but it worked. So the janitor can be a bit of a bully if you uh, if you let him, meaning you want to avoid him. He's very risky to deal with, and I do not like the janitor very much. Uh, most of avoiding him is just knowing, don't get hit. So now we're in the third floor of science room, and this is the best room you could possibly get. We're going to do some dialogue here, and then we can go to the piano room. So the piano room is now much safer. We're gonna have a little code here where we play the piano with a the music theme. It's always the same, and then you get a key. So, the important part about this is one, we're getting items necessary to the story, but two, Jae Hyun is now with us, 7582. And she'll stay with us the entire time, 7582. So since she's with us now, I don't need to worry about the janitor spawning. 7582, by the way. Okay, so, 7582. Also, grab the soy milk, because I want the health. It's a very risky run. We have all the picture pieces, and we're good to go. We'll lock her in the room. What's with the costumes? They're just flare. They're nothing more than flare. Also, a little thing I could do. Turn that light on now. And we're going over to the second floor. I was supposed to split, by the way, but I did not. That's okay. Uh, we're now going to be going in here. And this will teach us about... Oh, uh, my bad. Uh, this will teach us about the vase. When it turns white, you're all good to go. It's DLC. When it turns white, you have learned about the vase, and you can leave. And now I learned that there's a man holding a vase. So it's very safe, because the janitor won't be spawning, because Ji Hyun exists. Is the whole reason we want her, by the way. I did not get the light. You can hit that light. It's slightly faster, because of uh, light is used to pick up items. But we're doing good right now. And it is kind of similar with the whole idea of, like, Asian high school horror. But it's not too bad. We'll turn on that light for now, because it will help us. Also, I keep forgetting to split, but that's okay. <laughs> I keep forgetting to split. It's, it's fun. But we go in there so we can get a remote. The whole painting was to learn that that vase had a remote. Thank you for the follow. It's much appreciated. It's kind of unfortunate, by the way, that you need to learn that. I, I don't know why, but it just you, you just do. 
Like, I, I would be looking at a remote uh, vase myself if that happened, but the remote allows us to get the CD, and the CD is important because it gives me a key. There we go. And we juke her, and now we can go to the art room. So the art room has the major story event that's going to be happening here, and that is going to be... Baby. You guys remember Baby Chats? I think I got the soy milk, by the way. If I got that soy milk pickup, that's a good time save. I did. Neat. Okay. We're going into the art room. And now, Baby begins. He's Baby Chat. We have another timed event. That baby from earlier has become massive, and you must save the baby. You must make him happy. The way to do that is that weird clay doll we saw on the second floor. That's the storage room. So the order of floors we're going to be going to is two, four, three, four. You want to get the doll, you want to cook it, and then you want to clean it. Uh, you have to do it in the order, and then you give it to baby. So since I turned the light on, I can just grab, go in here, grab the doll, and then immediately leave. I'll this be very specific to uh, where I'm going for that. As well, I think my stamina should be much better than normal, so I don't have to worry too much about that. Go. I'll probably be getting a uh, higher amount of stamina once I get to the end of this uh, room. However, it'll regenerate once we get to the machine. So I just need to make it into the art room, and then we'll be good to go. As well, you noticed I turned on the light. The reason for that is because now I can immediately use the machine, which is going to be much faster. He's baby. The way you're supposed to know this, by the way, is that you read notes about clay dolls and all that, about cleaning, and well, there's a lot of hints in the game that kind of tell you where to go for these, but if you're speedrunning the game, we're going to know innately, so just go to the rooms. So, uh, Heat Man apparently has the world's most heat-resistant hands, because that comes out at 400 degrees, and he just picks it up and puts it into his pocket. Could you imagine that? Rip, like, reaching into the oven and putting the contents of that into your backpack... And then being okay with that. Because you have to cool it off. Like, the game specifies you need to cool off the thing. Which, yes, cool it off. It makes sense. But, like... Yeah. You then pick it up, which you're good, but... It depends. There we go. Either way, we have our now cool, clean doll. And we can bring it back to Baby. And there'll be a little panic in that with Baby. It's very easy. You go between right and left, so you match the two. And there'll be either right or left for dodge. Anyway, let's make Baby happy. It's always the same with the first one. It's always just right, left, and then it'll be right or left. Right. Left. Ah, I would have died. By the way, yes, I did push left. I just always predicted, and I never get my predictions right. Anyway, Baby now has his doll. And we'll be getting a talisman as a result of that. Why is there a cursed baby in here? Honestly, I can't tell you. Uh, that was always one of the weirder parts of the story to me. But, I mean, he's baby. That's all we need to know. Anyway, Earth Token is now in our pocket, and we can leave this building. We can now go to Building 3, which is the most important building in the speedrun by far. Uh, that is where a lot of the variants of this game can come from. It is a very specific sp uh, skip we'll doing there, and I'll describe it once again in detail. Uh, I did a little run earlier that kind of describes it, but... I want to make sure that you guys are fully aware of how to do that one. Because this game does have an interesting skip. I mentioned at the beginning of the run that we're doing it on hard mode for a specific reason. Uh, before I get to that, though, we're going to have some more dialogue with Sunga. Again, we want to stay with Sunga. We don't want to chase after so young. We want to be with Sunga right now. The reason why is because this will allow me to get the JT on ending, which ends much earlier than other endings of this game. The true ending would take longer. Um, other endings of this game, anything involving so young, would just take much longer as well. So you want to end it as quickly as possible. And now I have a little, uh, little room. And we're going to the end. Building 3 is the third of... Three or four buildings, it is almost the end. It'll be very quick, though, and you might miss it if you blink. So, if you're curious on how that building works, a lot of people always wonder, how does building three work? It's very specific. First things first, we need to get a key card. This is the new building, so there's no keys anymore. It's all key cards. We also get the introduction to the new janitor, who is much stronger than the old janitor. He doesn't walk with a limp. He walks with power and will beat you up. 
And you don't want to get beat up by, uh, by the young Jander. And an old Jander makes sense. You're letting him have his beatings. However, the young Jander will beat you with no shame. Anyway, after talking to Sunga, we get some dialogue, and the Jander's gone. We're going to be getting the yellow key card, which will unlock the first door for us. I'm opening this door on the side just for a quicker path out. I don't know if it's actually faster, but it's a preference thing. Okay. So... I'm going to describe this. By using the hard mode AI, I'll force the janitor to open the door. You have to beat the entire level to open normally. It's locked and will be locked until a lot gets done. However, thanks to the janitor, I'll be able to save quite a lot of time. So the way that's going to work is I'm going to need to start walking. Once I hit the opening here, I run, I open the door, and then I graze this door with running. From that point forward, I walk, and then I crouch, and we ignore the janitor. I want to see his light. He'll run into that door. And then we avoid him. And then that beats the final boss. I need to see the dead woman. Uh, normally you're supposed to beat her by turning on an alarm. And it's a very long section. However, by doing that, it saves a lot more time. So, we are now officially going into the endgame. And that, we're now in the auditorium. So that was the Jander skip. Uh, it works pretty well, as you can see. And that skips an entire level. It's very quick of uh, you do not notice what's going on, but I love doing it. Okay, so the final fight is Jay Hyun's going to be on the stage. Uh, she's the love interest for this game now. And we are going to have to save her, so we have to go reach her. There's also a fire door here, as you can see, another one of those tablets, but we're going to be ignoring that almost entirely. We don't need it, because we don't care about happy endings. Well, we're getting a happy ending, depending on your definition of happy endings. As well, we need to get access to the auditorium. But don't you worry, we still have a final boss fight. Quote unquote fight. It's a very weird definition of fight, but it counts. It counts as a fight, chat. So here we are. We're gonna go in here. Also, I'm currently one hit away from death, so I'm gonna be very careful. Uh, the ghost of, um... An angry ghost is gonna be chasing us. I'll keep it spoiler free, just in case. Uh, I don't tell you exactly who it is. Um, but we need to get fire extinguished now, chat. We need to put out fire so we can save the day and open up the sprinkler system. I don't know about hell, but I know hard mode does. No other difficulty has been able to do it according to the speedrun tech. Uh, anyway, now we get the fire extinguisher. I can also use the soy milk to heal myself. We no longer need them. Uh, I do not want to get hit too much by this lady. Uh, she... I got hit by fire. That's okay. Um, she hits like a truck, so I want to be very careful with my hits. Each fire is going to have a little cutscene. You have to be very careful with these. Also, enjoy the wicked music, but this is a boss fight. I don't know who's yodeling either. It's the mom of some dead girl. I don't want to spoil on who it is, but it is some dead girl you learn in the story. I wait a little bit for those fires to uh, subsist, and now we're getting more fire extinguishers. As well, uh, I'm doing a little bit of manipulation here. So I'm going to be putting out this fire and then causing the panic event. The reason why is because this girl chasing us, the woman, uh, the angry mother, she is on a set path. So when I open this door, she's immediately going to be behind me. And I want to be careful. Oh my. What hit me? Is that her? Is that fire? I might be dead. I hope I'm not dead. And there's a health kit I can grab. So I'll be safe. Uh, also... I think it was her. By the way, we get the juke on her. That's nice. I'll get a health kit as well. I'll have to. Um, I took a little bit too much damage. That's okay. But now we have another fire event. I think I walked into the fire. There's some really weird frames on the fire. I'm not entirely sure why. But it just sort of is the case. Hi, nice, Scamden. We're going to put out this fire now. Her position also resets every time. Um, once I get the, hel uh, the health kit and heal, we should be safe. So we're playing this very safe right now. Fire's right, gone the door, get the next fire extinguisher, grab a health kit, a use health kit, full health. Minor time loss, by the way, but this can still play PD, surprising enough. But, now that we have all the fire extinguishers, we can get an electrical fire extinguisher. Each one differs from the type of fire, it just means you have to do a puzzle and go to each one. But the blue fire is electrical, so by getting rid of this, it's going to be very risky. There's a valve behind this fire, and the woman is going to spawn behind me almost immediately. So I'm going to be very careful not to eat a hit on her. We'll go left, we'll go right, and avoid it. I didn't have to heal, but it's better not to risk it. Play it safe when you're doing games like this. 
Anyway, we're actually nearing the end of the run, and this is really good. Uh, I'm very happy with the way this run's turned out. So, we're going to use the valve, and we're going to get rid of the fire. Oh, my bad. There we go. And then we are almost out of here. Uh, we're going to do some dialogue with Jihyeon, and then it ends on the final dialogue. The answer is right, right, left. Right. Right. I'm really Left. You tender her ankle, and then you have love. And that's the end of White Day. Um, I will be skipping the final cutscene, just because it does, I think, make count against my endgame timer. Oh, Actually, no, I'm going to check it out. It should be consistent. Timer should have ended there. Anyway, I enjoyed the ending. This is love, and this has been White Day. Um, marathon commentary for this game. Not too shabby, I'd say. Hope you all enjoyed it. A lot better. Enjoy the ending really quick. Uh, we'll find out what time we officially got, but that should be a PB, surprisingly enough. A 29.25 ain't too bad. It's not too bad at all. I probably could have done better there. Do you want to sit? There are under other endings of the game. Uh, there are other categories, good categories, 100% uh, categories, but this is the fastest. The are fine too, right? So we want to make sure we got her ending. You could technically leave her and try to get the other ending, but, I mean... It depends. We have her good ending. We we end up with the nerdy girl, and then white day. I what kind of light this, is. this light is the spirits of all the uh, the haunted ghosts that kind of plague the the school. So this is you're setting them free and you're saving them. And then. You give your white day gift to Jihyun. Happy white day, everyone. Although, this is in December and Christmas instead of, you know, March. <laughs> anyway. Let's get the credits. And the final time for us is a... 3042. That's inconsistent, and I'm not sure why. I think watching the final cutscene might be counting against me. Well, I don't PB because of that, but, I mean, 30-42. There you go, chat. I physically lost 40 seconds by watching that ending, but good to know. I guess that's why they go the other one. So if I want to PB this in the future, I can't be uh, watching that. I, I would have only been a PB by maybe, like, 10 seconds, so it's not the end of the world. Um, but I did not PB because of that. Um, good to know. But that was White Day, and I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all enjoyed uh, the marathon commentary. Uh, if you're watching this, thank you. I hope you enjoyed it for one reason or another, whether it's marathon submission, or you're just curious about White Day. Uh, I haven't done one of these in a while. I probably should have gotten rid of the Luigi's Mansion incentive, but what can you do? Anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, let me know if you want me to do any other marathon commentary games. I have some plans currently, but I always like looking at games I've done as suggestions, so.